Spirit has been laying on my heart to share with the body of Christ is the higher that you go with God, the more separate you'll be from everybody else. And I do mean everyone. You'll be separate from the world. You'll be separate from other believers who don't um, obey him. So the higher that he elevates you, right? Um, because you guys know that we're in a time right now of where God is demoting a lot of people who have platforms. So God is demoting a lot of pastors and preachers that you've known for years and years he's demoting them in the spirit and some of them have been demoted openly physically right you've seen a lot of people step down from positions voluntarily and involuntarily um and god is the one orchestrating the, these demotions and so at the same time as he's demoting these leaders who have continued to blatantly disobey him continue to blatantly not ask his opinion or ask his heart for his people these same ones are the ones that he is demoting in this hour the ones that have been completely disobedient and non-compliant to the commandments and the word of god um
right? Unless someone offers them the gospel, right? There are certain cases and instances where, where God will give people a God encounter, but, and in that encounter, God can do and has done and will continue to do exactly what he pleases to do. But it is our responsibility because the Bible also says, go and make disciples of all nations. The Bible also says that once the gospel is preached to every corner of the earth, then the end will come. Come on, somebody. This is all scriptural. So it is our responsibility to give people the gospel. Give them the gospel and leave it there. Leave it. Tell them what Jesus said. Tell them how much he loves them. But also tell them the truth that Jesus came as a man, the son of God, born as a man, that was beaten and bruised. I don't like to skip over that part. Beaten and bruised and whipped for your sake, for your transgressions, to bear every sin, every shame, and every guilt for you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Died on a cross, a terrible, horrible death of suffocating to death because the death on a cross is by asphyxiation, which means he suffocated to death. Look it up. I'm not making it up. Please do your research for yourself. Do not take my word for it, okay? Okay? I want all of you guys to make sure that you don't just take anybody's word for anything. First of all, check with the Holy Spirit about all information received in Jesus' name. And then go do your own research. Go through scripture and every scripture that I've quoted, see, see if it's in the Bible. I might have time to put the actual scriptures up when I edit the video. I might not. But make sure you go check it for yourself. Okay. Um, but back to the original. The higher that you go with God, the higher that he elevates you, the closer you have to get. It's a must. It's a necessity. And one of the reasons it's a necessity is because the higher that you go with God, the more that you are on the enemy's radar. You might, you probably won't be able to do a lot of the things you used to do the higher that you go with God. You probably won't be able to go a lot of the places you used to go the higher God elevates you. And so... Because of that reason, you have to make sure that you log time in with God, with your Abba Father, with your Daddy, with Yahweh, with El Shaddai. Make sure that you log that time in. Because there will be some things that you cannot do. There will be some places that you can't go. You might, And it's not because the places that you're going are bad or the people who are inviting you are bad. It's just because God is requiring more of you than anybody else at that particular time because of your assignment, because of where he's taking you, because of where he has you, because of what he's purposed and called you to do for his glory and so you have to understand that that has taken me a long while if you guys have been following my videos for a while you will see that I have struggled with isolation a lot because I'm a people person by nature I enjoy the company of people I enjoy talking to people I enjoy fellowshipping with people I enjoy finding out how people feel why they think what they think so for God to take me, to, you know, move me to a whole nother city away from my, my, my family, my friends at the time, um, just to, to, to bring me to a place of complete isolation, I just couldn't understand it with my personality. I'm like, Lord, are you sure this would be? Because I mean, I like people. I let to be around people. I like that. And he was like, yes, daughter, like this is necessary for what I'm doing in you. 
this is necessary for what you must do for my glory glory to god it's necessary that you not be around a whole lot of people until i send you around people and then you'll go back into your isolation and you'll feed off of my word you'll draw nigh unto me and i'll draw nigh unto you and then you can go back into the world again and do what you're called to do and purpose to do again and then i'll refill you again then i'll refuel you again and then you'll go back and do what i called you to do again and so this has been my my you know activity with the holy spirit and he goes with me everywhere i go every single place that i go the holy spirit goes with me i'm never by myself anytime someone sees me by myself physically i'm never actually by myself that's what gets me and he always lets me know i'm right here i'm not i'm not going nowhere and you know what's interesting is sometimes when people are around me now they sense the presence of the holy ghost like they it's almost as if they sense something and they're very cautious with me now with how they speak to me with the things they say to me with the way they behave around me it's kind of strange actually the way that people are but it's like they see my angel over here or up there wherever he is i don't know but i know that i'm never by myself even though i'm physically going places by myself i'm never alone and i'm always aware of that <laughs> glory to god always like hmm, lord i feel you right now i feel all the time all the time um but it's time for us to draw nigh into god y'all and i had a vision the other day and if you guys have been following me for a while i posted a dream that i had Like an 
impulse, impulse, impulsive thing, right? You re you react to something. It's like a reflex, right? You react. Something happens. You Im immediately react. I want to be able to respond. A response is a choice, right? And sometimes with a response, you take time to respond. Consider your thoughts. Consider your actions or lack thereof. Consider the fact that you don't want to react. Consider to the fact that you don't want to respond. That's a response. So I've been asking God to help me, teach me to respond to, to things. And even the enemy. Teach me, Lord, how to respond to Satan when he shows up. Teach me how to respond. And I feel like that should be our prayer. Even, even in reference to that dream I had with the coconut tree and us staying focused on, on God and the word of God being our anchor that God would teach us how to respond with the word that God would teach us how to respond with his word with what he said because things can be going on all around us and things do happen to the people of God but when they do God always rescues us in his timing. Always. And when they do, and if things do, excuse the noise in the background, you know. And when they do, and if they do, that God would teach us how to respond with the word of God. That there would be enough word inside of us that if the Bible's not directly in front of us that we would still know what to say against what's coming against us because sometimes a lot of people are getting weary and doing well for the kingdom of God because they don't know how to respond with the word they're getting weary because they don't have the right equipment on they don't have the right war tools on so a lot of people are getting battle weary they're constantly in battle constantly in a war constantly going back and forth with the enemy <laughs> what? God gave us the word And John it says he's given us power To tread Do you know to tread Means to consistently Move over Consistently Tread You know like treading water When you tread with your feet Have you ever seen a, Heard of a treadmill <laughs> Where you keep going to tread over the enemy and all the power of the enemy everything the enemy does have power you know but the power that we have is greater than what he has but if you don't know you have the power to tread over the enemy over all the power of the enemy and and over serpents and scorpions which is a separation he's telling you you also have power over the creepy crawly things on the earth over her created things too and nothing shall by any means hurt you. But if you don't know that and you go to a war not knowing that you've already won, you're going to fight from a place of defeat. And that's what a lot of people of God are doing. And that's why they're getting weary and will do it. But I want to encourage you today and I pray that the Lord will refresh the people of God today. Even as you listen to this message in the name of Jesus. That God will send a refreshing fire. That he would take you and back to your first love of when you first fell in love with Jesus when you first fell in love with his word because we gonna need a people of God we're in a place right now in a time and in a dispensation where we need the word we need to eat it like it is our necessary food okay some of us need to put our plates down and fast I now and by the grace of God by the grace of God by the grace of God live a life of fasting glory to god a lifestyle of fasting now now this was not so before i could not say it was so difficult it used to be so difficult for me before to fast so hard i'd be like lord help me i mean because i couldn't understand why i couldn't go one day without eating food i sometimes could not go six five four three two one hours it seemed like not really but it just seemed like it was so hard for me sometimes to go without food and i'm like lord why is this such a a battle for me why is this such a struggle for me but i wasn't willing at the time to crucify my flesh now honey because god is elevating me in the spirit and transforming my 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 heart from the inside out change my whole name and I'm a whole new creation like me I'm actually the new thing you know how when God says behold I do a new thing and it will spring forth 
do you not perceive it? When I look in the middle, the mirror, I perceive the new thing that God is doing. I am the new thing that God is doing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when I realize that the enemy, witches and warlocks fast all the time. I was listening to this woman's testimony the other day. How she was talking about how when she was a little girl, she was in, she was um, indoctrinated into witchcraft and she was talking about how at a young age they the demonic priest at that time made her fast she said she was hungry i think she said she was either nine or ten years old she said she was hungry and the demonic priest told her not now you can't eat now